Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in again. Today's makeup look is a cool tone look with a little bit of glitter added just to make it a little more fancy and then a pinky purple lip. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look then as always please keep on watching. So I'm starting out with a bare skin and as you can see I've got a little friend with me today. I have had this massive pimple for like I'm going to say about six days now. It's one of those really hormonal cystic ones. And yeah, look, we're battling, but we are getting there. So first up, I primed with my Gorgeous Cosmetics Foundation Base Primer. And then for my foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I am in the color... What color? Oh, there it is. A 310 Sun Beige. So I'm just popping that one all over my face. And then we'll move on to the eyes and the eyebrows. So I did my brows and my other eye off camera so we can zoom right in. So the first step in this makeup look is taking this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. Now I'm being very specific in the areas that I am placing this today. I only want it on basically the, I would say the last two thirds of the mobile lid because I'm using this amazing new pencil by Eye of Horrors. This pencil has only just launched and it is basically a white version of their Goddess pencil. Now, for those of you that have followed my channel for a while, you know that the Goddess pencils by Eye of Horrors are my absolute all-time favorite cold pencils. So yeah, I'm really excited that they've got a white one and they've also got a nude. So yay, happy Nakia. As you can see here, I've applied it directly to the eye, um, just the eye socket area there on the inner corner of the tear duct. And I've also applied it to the brow bone. Uh, using a white pencil like this actually does a really, really fantastic job at brightening and whitening and lightening the eyes it'll really make your eyes pop and especially with a cool toned makeup like this it's definitely a good color to use the eyeshadow palette that I am using today is the new Zoeva N taupe or on taupe palette and as you can see it is a beautiful array of gorgeous cool toned shimmery taupe colors there's also some mattes in there as well I just love it it's so pretty First up, I'm taking this nude pinky shade called Hour by Hour and just on a large fluffy blending brush, I am working that one backwards and forwards through the crease. And then following up with that, I'm taking Stitch by Stitch, which is basically just a nude matte bone color. And really, I'm just gonna use a teeny little bit of that just to set that white eye pencil so that it stays nice and bright throughout the entire look. Now going in with Wrapped in Silk, which is a gorgeous shimmery gray taupe color. I'm going to pop that one all over the mobile lid. I don't want to carry it too far up into the lower crease or the upper crease area there because I do want to keep that nice and matte and with those beautiful pinks. And then once again, after you have finished applying that, go in with a blending brush and buff out the edges. Now finally, to finish off with this makeup palette, I'm taking Exquisite, which is this beautiful dark plum purple. And it's very, very subtle and you can only just pick it up slightly, but I am using this one just through the mobile crease there, just sort of more towards the outer corner and then blending it towards the inner corner. This will just add a tiny weeny little bit of shadow to this area and make the look appear a little bit darker. Now I'm going in with this gorgeous new pigment that I just picked up from Inglot. It is so pretty and it's actually a very interesting texture. As you can see in the jar, it's all in little balls. But then when you apply it to the lid, it comes out in this beautiful shimmery satin finish. So I'm just applying this one all over the mobile lid once again. I will blend out the edges. And because you guys know I'm excessive, I am also going in with this eye tape mineral um, glitter and I guess it's sort of like a glitter bonder. I'm using the glitter in golden brown and as you can see it's a beautiful color. I've applied a little bit of that glitter bonder to my brush and then I'm tapping my brush over the eye area just to get that glitter right onto the eye and um, this bonder will also actually prevent it from falling out onto your cheeks and it'll also keep it in place all day long. But I thought because this was such a cool toned look I felt like it needed a little bit of warmth and I thought that I would create that warmth using a gold glitter as opposed to using gold colors just for something different once again it goes to show you can pretty well use anything and mix them together now as you saw there I just went in and applied some black gel eyeliner nothing fancy if you wanted to do a wing you certainly could and then I'm going back in with the eye of Horace white goddess pencil it's actually called the selenite pencil selenite pencil hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly and as you can see I've popped that through the waterline just to brighten the eye even further and then I'm just adding a little bit of shadow to the lower lash line just with a felt tip eyeliner and then buffing it out with that same brush now for mascara today, I'm using the Sigma Beauty Monumental Lash Mascara. Oh, 
Sorry, Georgie's in here and she's trying to bite my fingers. <laughs> and then these amazing, and like amazing doesn't even come close to describing these lashes by Esquito. These are called the Midnight Symphony Lash. And as you can see, they are so beautiful and fluttery and they just look so flattering on the eyes. Oh, Esquito, you get me every time. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the face. Now, I'm just adding a little bit of extra coverage over this Maybelline foundation. I'm just using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and just popping it in the areas where I felt that I needed some extra coverage and then buffing it out with this Fearless Cosmetics Small Brush. And I did also actually go in with my foundation brush again just to really buff it all in. I wanted a really full coverage look. Was just feeling today, <laughs> you know? And and then to contour and highlight today, I'm using the Clara Cosmetics Sculpt Me Skinny Contour Stick. As you can see, it has a contouring end and then a highlighting end. Now, believe me, like seriously believe me when I tell you this is stuff is ridiculously pigmented. I actually learned the hard way. I applied the normal amount of cream contour that I normally would with other products, thinking that, oh yeah, I'll just blend it out like normal. Uh, yeah, it was kind of scary. I had to basically remove it all and go in again because this stuff is so pigmented. You only need the tiniest, tiniest amount. As you can see here, that tiny little skinny line that I played, um, I, sorry, I applied underneath my um, cheekbone there. It just, once you blend it, this stuff just goes a really, really long way. So yeah, keep that in mind if you have this product and you are using it. I definitely recommend it. It's really easy to use. It's really easy to blend and the color is beautiful. But yeah, just do bear in mind that it's super pigmented and only use a little bit. So I first got in with the contour shade. I've blended it out a little bit using the Clara Cosmetics brush. I'm not sure if this actually comes with the product or you buy it separately. I will have that information down below. And then I go in with my Beauty Blender sponge. Well, this is the Real Techniques one actually. And I just buff out the edges, make it all smooth, make it all really seamless and well blended with the foundation. And if you did apply a little too much and you're sort of looking a little scary, you can pop a little bit more foundation over the top just to help blend it out. Now taking the white side, now this is another thing that I really like about this product. It's actually a white highlight as opposed to, you know, more of like a yellow or a creamy highlight. So for those of you that want your highlight on fleek, this is the way to achieve it. Now, as always, you want to set that makeup in place because you don't want your makeup running down your face onto your boobs because that is not a good look. And to do that, I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is an oldie but a goodie. I think it's been quite a little while since I featured this on my channel, but super awesome product. And it's so easy to get hold of these days. Actually, really affordable too. And then I'm taking my NARS Casino Bronzer just to very, very lightly set that contour, that cream contour. I'm not really applying any extra color. I'm just using the same shade to set the area. Now for blush today, I'm using MAC Love Cloud, which is a really pretty cool toned pink, applying a little bit of that to the cheek area, blending it out towards the temple, and then I'm going to go in with my highlight, and today, another oldie but a goodie, Merry Luminizer by The Balm, applying that one onto the sort of upper area of my cheek brains, and I'm obsessed with this brush. This brush is by the company called Elysium, and Honest to God, it's so good for applying powder highlighters. I will link it down below. I'm obsessed with it. And then finally to finish up the look, I'm taking this Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Ecstasy. It is a beautiful, mauve purpley, cool tone lip color. And I do believe it's actually the most popular color that they've ever made, funnily enough. Um, if you want to try anything from Gerard Cosmetics, then you can use the code JOY and that will get you 25% off site-wide. So yeah, that's something to think about. <laughs> um, yeah, once you've applied that, that basically finishes the entire look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next one.